A Detroit man facing charges tonight for allegedly lying when he bought the gun that was used in the killing of Detroit police officer Lauren Quartz. Yeah, according to federal authorities, 26 year old Sheldon Avery Thomas is accused of making a false statement in the acquisition of a firearm. Investigators say Thomas bought the firearm at a gun store in East Point. Surveillance pictures show Thomas and Imani Davis together at the store on May 29th. Nine days later, it appears the two meet up again with a gun in Thomas's possession. Seven investigator Ross Jones looking into how this happened and speaking to the gun shop owner. I don't like being associated with this, but we didn't do anything wrong. The, the clown that bought the gun did something wrong. Bill Cusick first learned that his East Point gun shop may have sold the gun used to kill Officer Lauren Quartz when his store received a trace request for the Draco pistol from the FBI. Because of the type of firearm and because it's marked urgent, then my staff knows to set everything else aside and let's get busy handling this. Surveillance video showed that Imani Davis, the alleged gunman, first entered the store on May 29th, and he was not alone. With him was his friend, Sheldon Thomas. According to the feds, Thomas tried to buy the gun that day, but his background check produced a delayed response. Thomas would have to return nine days later when he was cleared to buy the gun. By that time, he was by himself. According to the feds, after buying the pistol, Thomas left the store and met Imani Davis down the street at a White Castle where he sold him the gun. You have them, that person go in, fill out the form uh, fraudulently, saying, you know, that the gun is for the purchaser when in essence it's for, you know, the person who can't have it. Paul Vanderplow was the special agent in charge of the Detroit ATF. He says because Imani Davis was under 21, he was precluded from buying the pistol himself. Thomas is now charged with illegally purchasing a firearm, facing up to 10 years in prison. If you're going to put a gun in someone's hands that shouldn't have it, we are going to come find you. Bill Cusick says his staff is devastated knowing that a gun they sold was used to kill a Detroit cop. My staff's very good. I mean, we constantly are training and practicing, and we're looking for signs of straw purchases. And they're really good at it because we'll find two or three a week that we think are happening, and we shut those sales down. But if the feds are right, they missed this one. And Cusick says he's no longer selling Draco pistols today. I've never liked it. And then I've also learned that when a particular gun gets a lot of publicity, people will come to the store to buy that gun just because of that publicity. If it's a gun you've never liked, why was it one you were willing to sell only a few weeks ago? Because just because I personally don't like it doesn't mean other people don't like it. According to the ATF, Davis gave Thomas the money to buy the Draco pistol, estimated at about $1,200 and another $50 finder's fee. Thomas remains in federal custody. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.